Hello, friends and neighbors. Welcome to another production of the program. Here we are on TV once again, once a day, every day. Turn on the machines and live forever. John Webster, I'm looking for you. You can call the number up there. It's 360-836-4384. Call and leave a message. See what happens. It's uh, Tuesday. And viewers, thank you for joining me in this very difficult time. You know, Tuesday is a real day. Yeah. All the days coming up, and they uh, come one after another. The days, Tuesday is always after Monday, and Wednesday is always after Tuesday. And the days happen in in, in circles and rounds, and we're doing the thing, this this thing. Remember that thing? And uh, still, it's still we're still in that, and we will we'll be. Perpetually, there's no escaping from the circle of circles. Each time you have one, and it moves down to the next one, continuous circle movement. Which one are we on today, though? Maybe we're on the outside of the circle. If there's a circle, continuous circle circles on the outside right now, and we can look into the next, like, look over the next loop, the one that we're not in. But we're going to take a glance at it. Taking a look at the next loop over on Tuesdays. Maybe that's what happens on Tuesdays. Maybe that's their power. We're in a special space in the loop where we can, you know, you can't leave your loop. You can look over maybe on the to others, towards the others. It's Tuesday and imagine that you're moving around, but we're still in it. Yesterday was um, Monday. I did the show here at around 8.30. Mm. Jim was here for some of it, the second half of it. We talked to Mr. Gintu for like a pretty long time. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... After the program, I went over to uh, the voyeur to continue to move things around a little bit. Moving all that stuff around, we're going to have a video zone over there. That was yesterday, and I did a little bit of things. And then today is Tuesday. I went back home after that. I was going to ride the bus home. I got over there on the bus, and when I was sitting on the bus... There was uh, right next to Sylvester Park. It's got to be one of the worser bus stops there because there was some weird people there. First, it was a kid who kept asking me things that I think he was feeling. He's like, are you cold? Are you hungry? I think he was. I gave him some chips and... And the kid asked me for heroin. <laughs> you have here heroin? No, kid. Sorry. He was a young looking kid to me. He looked like he was a teenager to me. So don't get hooked on the dope, kids. It's not a good, not good for you. You'll be out there on the streets looking for dope. Some strangers at bus stops. But I gave him some chips, and then he ate almost the entire bag. It was nacho cheese Doritos. Ate almost the entire bag of chips and then said, I'm not supposed to eat these. Uh, like, if you're not supposed to eat them, like, why, why are you not supposed to? And maybe you shouldn't be eating them. Like, if you're not supposed to eat them, then why are you, yeah, why are you eating them? So, kid. Her 
heroin kid wanted chips or he wanted to eat his chips even though they were he, they, he wasn't supposed to eat them why are you not supposed to dairy religion fried foods chips maybe chips is not dinner he never did a uh, he didn't have an answer but he also was kind of looking for heroin I guess so maybe not too healthy of a kid it was weird and then he asked me if I was cold and then he said do you have another black hoodie I don't usually wear white hoodies he had a white thing he said, I don't usually wear white do you have any black hoodies I can have any extra black hoodies So you got some specific requests, heroin kid, heroin teenager. That was a little weird. And later on, somebody came by and wanted to listen to some of my music. I don't know who they were. Uh, I had it on my headphones. I think you got headphones. Could I hear it? I was waiting for them to ask me for heroin also, but then they didn't. And some other guy got there too with the bike and was talking to me too. So it was a lively little bus stop last night after. I went to the boyer and I went to the bus stop. I rode the bus back up there to uh, my residence. I went back to my residence to lay my head, which I was successful in doing. Um, it was cold last night, which is good, I think, for me. It got down to 30 degrees, that's what they're saying, so it's like freezing. Maybe we got our first yearly freeze, so I mean, I think it's gonna, things are going to freeze. Quite a bit, hopefully, I guess, in the world of that one was the first one. <sighs> Things got down to freezing, so it's a uh, new season. We're in it after Rosh Hashanah. New season. New season of coldness. And it's probably a good season. And I went to bed last night, though, and I had the blankets and stuff, and I woke back up this morning, and... Oh... Uh, I didn't get out of bed. I just went to work. To work. I didn't even eat breakfast. So, and I I was at work today, and that was a regular time. And then I got off and I came down here to do this. Um, I'm thinking about I almost got pizza, but I'm not very hungry. Later on, the voyeur is going to be debuting, so I'm going to try to get some of that food from them. We should check out the phone and we'll look at the tapes today. It's been a while. Oh, maybe we got no messages, or maybe we didn't get messages. It's like the settings are off on this thing, so I'm trying to fix the settings. We're gonna, uh, oh, maybe the settings are working. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. But maybe it's nobody called in the last two days. It's only been, uh, not that long. No connection, it says. So maybe it is messed up. So maybe we did get messages. Usually, I guess Mark has been leaving a message at least every day. Most of the time. Yeah, this thing is un not 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 right. The settings are not right. I'm fixing the settings, see if we got any messages. There now that now the net settings are fixed. Bring messages, Mr. Ginsu. Here it is. I guess we'll call Mr. Ginsu back today. Oh, we got quite a few messages. Gene, yellow fellow, Mr. Ginsu. Here's Gene. We'll call her back first. It's the daytime for us. I guess it's like 9 o'clock for Gene. Hey, uh, Gene. Hey, Gene. Hi. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Hi, hi. Hello, program. This is Jean Squires in Greenfield, Massachusetts, and I have I'm sick still, and so I stayed home in my bed most of the day, and I watched a movie. Now I'm going to watch another movie, and I've gone downstairs two or three times, um, but it makes me tired, oh. and so then I think, oh, do I go to work tomorrow? I don't feel good. But then it seems like you get like a wild card when you call in sick into work, right? And you can't use more than one. Yeah. I don't know about that. Um, so I thought I'd bring it up on the program. I think I I've had like I've had candidates you don't call in sick, which is sad. 
but maybe you don't get sick. My housemate doesn't get sick. Um, it was sick. every like 15 years or something he gets sick. It was crazy. He eats very well, but he used to have a partner that got sick all the time. They ate the same thing, so it's not that I'm just not doing it right, maybe. But anyway, um, so don't call me late tonight, please. Maybe if you do it as late as, um, if you do it after 6 o'clock or 6.30, don't call me. But maybe if you do it before then, please call me. I'm uh, bored. Well, it's okay. too late then. Hope you're well. Goodbye. Too late, Gene. 6 o'clock, huh? It's like right, we're right on the edge of it. So I guess I'm not going to call you. I'm going to try to call y'all, fellow, though. Mr. Ginsu. Hello. Hello. Maybe we'll look at 2015 a little bit, too. Going on out there, Sunset Boulevard. You know it, baby. Get on TV, State and Capitol. Oh yeah. Your daily out with me. Yeah, hey everybody, it's the commercial. We talked to a lot of people. Alex Simmons called us. We talked to Freddie for a while. We talked to Mr. G or Mr. Ginsburg left us a message. We talked to Dan Dobler and Jessica G's. And Carl... He has car troubles again. His trunk is... What, jammed or something? Yeah, the trunk won't check. Oh, 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 damn. Uh, it's oh, all right. Holy. That's oh, what... Right. 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 I love mechanics. 360 Take my money, mechanics. Give me a dollar. Bye. Bye. You're with me. Talking donuts. No, Carl's. That was last year. Carl's mic fell apart. Yeah, just keeps on falling apart. And Elias, glue it. Elias is junior is at school. Yeah, do you guys know how to make pecan pie? No, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We're on every other night at 11.32 a.m. That's good. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> it's a mystery. Uh, 360 or Call and leave a message. Get on TV. Because you know you want to. Do it. Do it. Do it now. I want to call the next program, motherfuckers. Yeah. Do you really are with me? With Carl. Uh, hello there, Crazy. Mr. Ginsu. Yeah, fucking no. We're, uh, we talked to a lot of people today. We talked to Ali and Alex and uh, Rachel and Mr. Ginsu here and Dan Dobler, Freddie Dobler. Working up to the season five finale. Or year, year five finale. Y year five finale. Almost. 11, 30, 20, uh, uh, year six. Six years. No, we're moving into our sixth year. We're finishing up year five. We're going to be on year six. Three six zero eight three six four three eight four. Yeah, it is. Okay, bye, bye, Mr. Your daily out with me. Yeah. Hey, hey look, Dan is uh, outside there. He's here in person. Oh, a long time ago. Five. Uh, come on. Hi. Last day, you're five. Right there. We're get closing it off. Freddie is here. We're talking to Dan. Yakuba 2015. It's the year episode. Six. Six years. Six years. Uh, we, uh, we got pizza. We walk around the town. We look at Maybe this. we're looking at clips of that. Here we go. I'm going to eat this pizza. We got spinach, eggplant. Pepperoni and, and, and bacon and honey. Oh, that's and a good pizza. Olive and mushroom. Yeah. We're getting pizzas. Oh, wow. <laughs> Is there, are they ready? Yeah, that's, that's the one I ordered. That's going to be a good one to see award last year. Yeah. Uh, 
We got some new guests. And Jenny. It's all good. It's like a, it's exactly the way that the first episode of the sixth year of the program should go, I think. We did it. We're live. Call us. We're on every night at 1130 at 2 a.m. on TC Channel 22. 360 Do it. We almost did. We got to finish. Thank you, sir. We got one more pizza to eat. Bye. Your daily out with pink water. Yeah, it's the commercial. Hey, we're here. We're here with Brock the Breakfast Cowboy. Hello. And we we're, we're, we're playing some music. We're going to uh, do some Cream of the County award voting. Play oh, yeah, play a little bit. Guitar. Are we doing voting already? Yeah. Call and vote. Who be voting? Best stuff in Thursday County. What's the best? What's the best? You're What's the best? Are you kidding me? Is the end of the show and the commercial? It's That's commercial. right. Yeah, it's, it's the both. commercial. Yep. Uh, on, uh, on this episode, we uh, talked to Mr. Ginsu. I talked about this spaceship model I'm building and kind of the process. Which and one was that? We're yeah, doing I'm the building. awards. We're going to tell Tell us about the, the best stuff in Christian County. Yeah. And also, there was something about a fire truck. Something like in a boat. That might be important. Yeah. Road boat. A road boat. Got kicked off the bus. Your oh, yeah. daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, everybody. It's the commercial. Hey. What's going down? We talked to Mr. Ginsu today. Yeah. We used some more of the Cream of the County Awards. Who's the best comedian? Carl! Oh. We're on every night at 11.32 a.m. Yep. Looks like John Webster. Yep. He's a good guy. Everyone's good. Oh. Oh, I'm going to find John okay. Webster. Maybe not everyone. 360-836-434. Call me the me- message. State and Capitol, come on by. Who's that? Your daily hour with me. Yeah. Hey, look. It's um. Uh, Tic Tacs. Tic Tacs. <laughs> uh, commercials. Yeah. Today we are doing the season finale. I eat a burrito. We talked to, to Elias and Freddie and Mandy. We we're doing the Premier County Awards for the last season. Tomorrow we start Scary Month. It's good. At 11:32 a.m. Every day, every time. 11:32 a.m. TCTV Channel 22. You can be on TV 366 or 85222 617. Call in. Oh, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Wow. No, you hang up. Whoa, you hang up. Scary. It's the season premiere, everybody. We're here during Scary Month, and with the start, Mr. Gitsu on the phone. I'm Mr. Gitsu. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mr. Gintz is interested in farm animals. Carl's here. We're talking about uh, that. We talked to Elias about the Cream of the County Awards. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCP Channel 22. It's scary. Look out. 360. We're doing low-key scary move. Come by. We're on State and Capitol. We'll be dead. Go. Right now. Demon. Real scary. Today is Hi, scary month, it's though. Scary month. <laughs> well, it's Mark, We're huh? back here with Mark. Mark, you got hair. I got long hair. Mark, the guitar Thanks player. Over there. Yeah. Uh, we listened to Mark's music today, and we talked to them. It's been years. We're on every night at 11.30 and 2 a.m. on TCTV Channel 22. Peace. 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 God Check bless. Out. We're live. Peace. Woo. Ooh. Yeah, woo. It's the program. Look, we have this crazy f- reflection effect. Um, we're, today we talked to Mr. Ginsu for a really long time. He tells us about hit, not hitting deer and hitting rabbits with his car. Mm. 
Oh, I almost hit a squirrel today with my car. What? what? How did you avoid it? I ran right over the top of it, but it didn't go to, into the wheels. It just didn't move in the road. Wow, we're on every night at 1130 at 2 a.m., 360-364-384. Wow. Check out our dice roll. It was interesting. It, keep, it keeps getting scarier. It Ooh. does. Oh, 666. Six, six. Scary. Scary. I'm so scared. Uh, we talked to Marilyn Monroe today. Yeah. What? You should watch that episode. It's actually Dan Dobro going like, hey, I'm a Marilyn! So check that out. I'm Marilyn Monroe! Exciting. And Mr. Gansu left a message, and we talked to some McDonald's, and Carl's going to help his parents do IT work. Oh, 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 too bad. Freddy, Freddy was just trying to call us, but it's in the show. Three, six, zero. Oh yeah, we can talk about It's so scary. We have no little, little time left. You know we're Woo! right about to. Like, I'm sorry if ah, life is short. Oh, uh, fright you. Uh, what the fuck is going on, motherfucker? Mr. Ginsu oh, is on the phone. Here. Dan is here. Yeah. yeah, we're we, talking a lot about everything. Yeah, we talk all the way around the world on this program. <laughs> a lot about our farms. Back. I'm at 11.30 a.m. It's scary, man. Yeah, we're going to talk to Mr. Ginsu's doctor on the program. Oh, sweet. Treat you, sir. Coming up on the next episode of the program. Sabra Zabra. Oh, it's the guy from the Umbrellas in Sabra Zabra, too. Band here tonight, uh, we're recording them. It's a Tuesday and special band day. We're here over here. It's the band. I want to see the uh, guy from TCC the Umbrellas. Channel 22, you can call the number 360-364-384. Check it Didn't out. get a good shot of him here. Every night. Mr. Gintu is still on the phone, yeah? No? Yep, I'm still on the phone. That's right. <laughs> it's scary month. Ooh. It's scary. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, you can be on TV. Just call that number. 360-836-4384. All right, I think that's it. I don't know where Kenny is. I'm right here. Okay. Fuck over, you gotta be motherfucking joking. It's a commercial, Mr. Gintsu. Today, uh, Eli or Elias gets uh, heartbroken a little bit, I think, but call. Uh, uh, not on the house, the brick of hearts. Alex and <laughs> Olivia call from Utah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Olivia was involved in the racing. Racing babies. Racing babies. We're right over there on the 32 a.m. 2022, 3236, 4384. We're scary. Oh, scary. Ah! Ah! Scary month. Scary. Scary month. <laughs> yeah. Scared. Woo. 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 We got a crowd here right now. We did it for most of the show. Too. We talked to Paxton in Utah. We stacked a lot of tapes today. And uh, we talked to John Webster. Hell of a fucking lot of tapes. These thousand... 500 tapes. John Webster wow. really doesn't respond too well most of the time. Wow. Wow. It's, it's a good conversation anyway. Well, it we're is. at 11, 30, and 2 a.m. on TV channel 22, 360-836-4384. Check it out. You can also be on TV. Just call us, 360-836-4384. All right. That was 2015. Let's call uh, fellow now. Oh, maybe we should call my, my grandmother. I think my brother might be still at, at the house. Well, yep, I was going to be a, a lengthy call if he answers. I believe. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Six, one, oh, zero, sorry, I can't nine, talk to you, sir. Zero. Three is not available. At the tone, please record your message. 
When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, y'all. Follow the program. You can't talk, huh? Call us back. You have about uh, 35 minutes. Okay, bye. All right, we're going to call Grandma. Too late to call uh, Gene. Hi. 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 Where, where, Andrew, where's Grandma? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? How are you? We eat the steak. Oh yeah. What kind of steak? Tarun steak, I think. No. What? Ribeye. Blue. Huh? Ribeye. Blue. Oh yeah. You get to eat a lot of steak, Andrew. That's pretty lucky. You want to eat? Come yeah. Over. Yeah, okay. You got work, gotta Andrew? Work. Gotta work, yeah. Oh, well, I was gonna say, come bring me some steak. Can't do it. Yeah, we should just eat steak on Sundays. Let's go eat a steak instead of going out. Yeah. How many steaks do you eat a week every day? Most days, huh? Yeah, we got a bunch of ribeyes from Costco, and when I, um, Cooked them all at once, and that's gonna eat them throughout the week. You cooked them all at once, huh? It's like a bunch of steak. Why'd you cook them all at once? I did a. Uh, you, did you watch that Bone Appetit video of uh, how to cook a steak? Yeah. You watch it? I think so. Is the one that came out a couple of days ago? How to cook like a million ways to cook a steak or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. I did the guy's favorite way, which was the uh, reverse sear. Uh huh. And I cooked them all. I cooked four big ribeyes at once on a pan. I baked them, and then I uh, now they all look like raw meat in the in the freezer or in the fridge. So Grandma won't eat it, but it's cooked. So all you have to do is pan fry it, and then it turns into like a perfect steak. Wow. <laughs> it's cooked, but Grandma doesn't know that. She's gonna forget that I said that. <laughs> uh, reverse sear, huh? What? What's a, what, how is a, re, it's like cooked in the middle, but not on the outside? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. How does that happen? Because you, you just put it in a, you just cook it really lightly. In the what? In the oven? The oven, yeah. And then you. And it kind of like dries out on the outside. You know, you're supposed to like pat it down with a paper towel or whatever. You don't have to do that because it's all like perfect. It's ready to go. Oh, yeah, is it good? Yeah, it's really, really, it might be the best steak ever. Wow. Well, yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> Why did you come over? I don't have a car. You don't have time. Yeah, you huh? do. Oh, yeah, I got. I don't have a, I don't have access to it. It's at Emily's. I'll drive you there. To Emily's to go pick up that car? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be a birthday present. You should do that for her birthday. Go take your car away? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where am I going to park it? That's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> you eating right now? To a car. What? You're eating right now? Don't you have a driveway or something? Yeah, I could park it somewhere. But I have to, <laughs> I have to get insurance. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of uh, expensive. You could probably get, like, you should get the cheapest. You can probably get it for, like, $60, $70 a month. $60 or $70? <coughs> yeah, that's more than a bus pass. Yeah. Or you can just uh, not get insurance. Yeah, but that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> You you eating those steaks right now? You sitting at the table? Yep. Hmm. Oh, really good. Oh, good steak. Come over. Best steak ever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's good. Grandma didn't like the food. Um, yeah. 
All right, well, we, we, uh, how's that late night shift? I have to go to work right now, like five minutes. Oh. All right, bye. Say bye. Bye. All right, let's call Freddy the producer. Um, Freddy is going to be at uh, work, though, so not going to answer, I think. You've reached Freddy Dilbert. I can't come on the phone right now, but if you leave me a nice message, I'll call you back as soon as I can. Thanks a lot. Hey, Freddy, this is a program. You can call us back. You have about a uh, half hour now, 30 minutes, halfway through the halfway through the program. Remember that sound? Um, it could it'll be played potentially. You can get some more tapes and going. To do the halfway through the program sound. Well, what's the point if I'm doing it myself? There's no point. The halfway through the program sound was a, be a little warning kind of thing. How's the work going? How's the production end going? Oh, right, bye. All right, let's keep this going. Listen to the next message. It's a. Uh, Uh, Mr. Ginsu or Mark first? I guess Mr. Ginsu. So somewhere, I was looking at stuff. Some motherfucker. What the fuck happened? Oh, I guess somebody flipped the bird. And he got kicked out of golf for three years or something. Yeah, what golf? I could have sworn that the Supreme Court upheld a decision that the bird is A-OK. You're gonna sue? Some golf guy's gonna sue? Golf guy? program oh it's you yeah we're on tv how are you i'm okay i'm just eating some curry spaghetti curry spaghetti what's that well i had some curry chicken earlier and it was really good so gave me a little bit of heartburn but freaking oh i can't believe how good it is so and took the sauce from it and put it in my spaghetti. Oh yeah, what did you make out of it's curry? Really good, good, good. Is it curry powder? I don't know. I think it's I think it's curry. If it's not curry, I don't know what the fuck it is. Oh. But, uh, did you make it? I did not. Where did you get it? Thai I bought it. From, I bought it. From where? Restaurant? 
I don't fucking know. What? The, from a um, re- was it a restaurant? I don't know. What kind of curry is it? Is it the 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 little like brown cubes? Well, I don't see no brown cubes, no. But you put I think it, it's all cooked into the food. You put the brown cubes in the water and then you make it. So do you cook it yourself or or? I did not cook it myself. Who cooked it? I don't fucking know. Where did you get it? I don't know. How do you not know where you got it? <coughs> I don't know. <laughs> Are you just like doing like a five-year-old game where you say, I don't I don't know. What, where, why, why, why? No, I'm not. I just don't know. How do you not know? I don't, how do you get you food? You keep asking me and I keep telling you and why do you think the answer going to change? How can you get food? How can you have food and not know where it came from? Well, let me think. Um, that's a good question. Yeah. I can't remember. I have short-term memory loss. You blocked it out, and you maybe you shouldn't be eating that food. I don't know where it came from. Is, is it? It was. It tastes. It smells so fucking good. It's fucking unreal. It smells so good. It blocked out your memory, huh? That's right. I don't know. I just can't remember. Nobody should freaking be eating this shit. If they don't fucking, I should not be telling people about this. Cause they'll go get it, and then I'll have none. Fuck you. Yeah. That's probably why. It's sub- subconsciously I'm telling myself, don't do it, because everybody will go get it, and then you suck, and you'll go in there, and you'll go, fuck, I want some of that. And you'll be going, hey, we ain't caught none, because that's good shit. Yeah, you don't know what, is it Thai curry, or you don't know? I have no idea. Uh-huh. I don't even know if it's curry. But I just know it's fucking smelly, fucking smelly, and, uh, oh, it's really freaking good. Yeah, curry. I like curry. I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it's curry, but I think it is. And, oh, boy, it's got lots of it. They didn't skimp on it. They? The restaurant? That's just very potent shit. The restaurant? Huh? The restaurant? What are you fucking talking about? Where'd you get it? I don't fucking know. I just don't have no clue. Wow, what kind of receptacle is it in? Oh, Phone? it's almost done. It's freaking almost done. Shut the hell up. Quit asking me questions. Uh-huh. Oh, I think it's it. All right. We'll call that good. Do yeah. it. Right. Oh, I hope it's really good. Where the fuck is it? Pasta and sp- Spaghetti noodles, huh? Or, I mean, curry and, and spaghetti. Yep, yep. I think you usually just see rice with curry. You know how many rice? Uh, there was... There was rice with it. Yeah, well, you ate it all? Yeah, that and the chicken. Sounds like a restaurant. But, uh, it's not hot sauce or nothing, but it's really good shit. Thai, is it Thai curry? Maybe. From a restaurant? I don't fucking have a clue. Somebody gave it. Where they got, Some, I don't know where they got that shit. Somebody gave it to you? Mm, yeah, in a manner of speaking. I don't know why why it would be a secret about where you, the curry is from. I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, you do. (laughs) Well, I'm not totally positive. I I, I don't know why you wouldn't say, um... You you don't. Fuck off. Golf, you're watching... Nobody nobody gets this but me. You're watching watching golf? I don't want everybody fucking going in there. Fuck off. There ain't no fucking way. Yeah, don't you want the... But if people go there, they'll have more business and everybody will go there and they'll do well. I'm going to keep... Open. Well, that's neat, no, but fuck off. I want to be able to get my shit when I want it. Not have to wait. Did you, you're watching golf? Hey, what? Are you watching the golf channel? Nope. Oh. But I saw some golf news. Somebody flipped somebody off from me. Yeah, why? Did, they banned them. 
banned them for three years. Why are you watching golf news? I don't fucking know. Uh, Somebody put it there. Who, Somebody put it where I can see it. Somebody who, put it where I can see it, and I saw it. Who are they? So, who, who are they flipping off? I don't know. You don't know anything, huh? No, I really don't, motherfucker. I'm quite clueless at this point in time. And now, now they're suing. But it's really good. It's tasty. It's 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 really good spaghetti. It's curry spaghetti. Oh, who who are they gonna sue? The the golf commission? They what? Who are they get, who's gonna get sued? Whoever fucking golf the golf people fucking said you can't do that. Yeah, they're gonna sue the golf people. No. The golf guy that flipped whoever off fucking is gonna need to sue the golf people who says you can't do that. Oh, freedom of speech. Yeah, but... Freedom, freedom of speech. Why do you have freedom... Live, you have live free, free or die. You're not freedom of speech while you're doing a sport, though. They can tell you what to do. That's not the same. Say what? Like, they can tell you not to curse at a sporting event, and if you keep cursing, I think they can eject you. Oh, I think it was at a sporting event. Yeah, I think that they have however, rules. There, however... Can they still go above the law? It's not the law, it's the rules of the, the game. Law is it, the law is it's freedom of speech. No, you can't just like be cursing and flipping people off at a sporting event. You can get kicked out for that. That's not, doesn't seem like it, you don't have to follow the law. Like the freedom of speech law at a, while you're like playing a sport seems like they should be able to kick you out for that. Uh, you think um, just because you're playing a sport means you lose your freedom of speech? Yeah, it does a little bit. If you're like a football yeah, player... fuck off, you fucking cunt. If you're playing... You communist. If, communist. If you're playing football and then you start like cursing and flipping everybody off, you're going to get ejected from the game. Communism. Yeah, but you don't think you're going to get ejected from the game? It's all bullshit. If you're playing football, you think you get ejected from the game? I don't know. I doubt it. Yeah. Freedom of speech, motherfucker. Supreme yeah. Court said. The Supreme Court, the Supreme Court's the one that made up freedom of speech? Yep. Yeah. Like, they decided. I thought they the decided. With the, with the golf thing? No. Something else. <laughs> what? I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, I don't know anything today, huh? Yeah, I don't, really. I know it happened, but I couldn't tell you where or where. Or the why and how of it. Where did you see it? That's a good question. No, nothing. You don't know anything about anything. Uh, you don't even know where you I saw may have, I may have seen it on the fake news. Like on TV? Yeah, it could have been the fake news channel. What, CNN? I don't know. Whichever one's speaking. Whoever's opening their mouth. What do you know? I know I love someone yeah, that okay. don't love me back, probably. Oh, uh, yeah. The The... The person you're not getting over, you should get over them? Impossible. <laughs> yeah. Did you, uh, you, uh, did you have work today? Did you go back to work yep. or are you still sick? Nope, I went to work. Over being sick? Uh, yep. You I'm all boom. No more, not even a little bit? You're all better? Well, I'm... It's oh, Monday, I'm okay, bye. Yeah. Not even really a little bit. Not even a little bit better, or what? I'm all better. Oh, yeah, okay. All done. Good deal. Good go. Germs, and I get to share in them. It's Monday, okay, Did bye. you drink, yeah. like, a lot of Red Bulls recently? Who have you been talking to? 
That was the messages from the future. I'm queuing it up. You sound, oh, you're, you're like real jumpy. You're acting real or kind of erratic today or something. I feel like have you been drinking too many Red Bulls. I hurt. What? What happened? I'm in pain. My back hurts. Oh, yeah. What happened? I don't know. Just woke up like that or what? I lifted, I lifted, I lifted a five-gallon bucket of paint. Oh, yeah. my mom taking mm. over that fucking house that I don't own. I'm fucking painting. Fuck off. Today? Oh, let's bend over and paint. Oh, no. It's been a while. A couple of days, a week. Oh, yeah. But fuck off. Fuck right the hell off, motherfuckers. Messed up your back, though, they, huh? they, they won't stop making me do shit. If it ain't her house now, it's going to be the other house. It's never going to be a non-stop motherfucking deal. Yeah, you got to fix all those houses. You're in, in debt forever. Oh, it's horrible. Uh-huh. Well, that's too bad. Bad back, huh? Are you painting? You're... I'm done painting for now. Are you painting the house while they live in it? Unless, huh? They still live in the house and you're painting in the house while they live in it? No, they moved out. Somebody else moved in. When? I painted in, be I painted in between. But they didn't give me much time either. Fuck off. What did you paint? The whole house or the inside or what? I painted a bunch. I ran out of time around to replace the carpet. You, you weren't able to replace the carpet? Huh? Did you replace the carpet or not? No. I didn't have time. So it's an old carpet? Old carpet. Get the old carpet. You don't get charged for the carpet if you're doing the carpet. Yeah. Well, Fuck it up. Well, I care. You finished the walls at least? Say what? Were you able to finish the walls in time? Hey, I did the painting that was required. Yeah, that's it. Just requirements. And then I did fix the what the fuck is that? The dryer? Uh huh. Never worked. Never worked properly. Yeah, and you got it to work. Yeah, I plugged it into the fucking hole in the wall, fucking <laughs> properly. Uh -huh. I had to cut some sheetrock out and move things around where it actually hit the fucking dryer. But now it works? You did it? Yep, I fucking did it. Oh, well, that's good. Why don't you go get a job doing that stuff instead of stacking and punching? You could go fix stuff. To the stacking and punching and doing stuff is kind of hard work, really. Yeah, why don't you go? And, you should go. Uh, and I need, I need that. It is not overpowering me. Right? It's not something that's going to overpower me. Yeah. All right, well, you should go. Uh, it's not heavy lifting, totally. It's, it's a lot of fucking lifting. <laughs> Look up. A lot of light lifting. It seems like there's some amount of lifting. It's like that that job at that job that you're lifting. Some things like too much for your back. Yep, it's bad. But I'm getting stronger, so. Oh, yeah? I'll get better. Just a matter of time. Gonna work out? I need to start working out again because I stopped when my back hurt. I'm, I can still do 30 push ups. But fucking, yeah, that's a lot of push ups. I ain't, I ain't fucking back up to the 50. Is it, uh, is it cold where you're at in Oregon? Yep. It was 30 yep. yesterday. Here. I'm freezing my ass off. Oh, uh, yeah. You, well, your heater, is your heater broke or something? Or? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Well, you try it. If you're freezing your ass off, if it's that cold, try your heater. All right. Maybe I will. But... Yeah. I really just need to save money and not use the heater. I know. Was it yesterday you were going to go get food? Remember that? You said, I'm going to get in your car. You don't want to cook. And you said, you're going to go to the car and get food. 
Where, you I have said, to drink Nyquil. You said you're gonna go to yeah, you're gonna go to Jack in the Box. I think you said. Yep, yeah. they're all hopped up on. Uh, I just woke up and drank Nyquil and was not sleepy. Yeah. So did you go? Did you go to Jack in the Box? I did. What do you What do you eat there? Ultimate cheeseburger. Make an ultimate cheeseburger. Large curly fries, orange soda. Yeah, and then you just turn around and go back home. Yep. But yep, it worked. Yep. It worked out. The the night will never ended up doing anything. You no, know, about an hour, forty five minutes or something. It did work oh, eventually. Oh, oh. Huh? Round trip. Hour that... forty five minutes round trip. I can get it done. That's far. Yeah, that's the way the fucking. I, don't know, I like living out in the fucking booty. That's real far for for a hamburger. Yeah, well, I was sick and didn't feel like making nothing. Uh, fucking fuck it. Yeah, that's like a forty-five minute drive. Around that time. It's like going to Tacoma if you're in Thurston County. It's like going to Tacoma for for Jack in the Box. 52 minutes each way. Something like that. Well, you made it though. The, I was uh, concerned that that neck wool was going to put you to sleep. No, I wasn't sleepy. I didn't get sleepy. Not at all? No. The neck wool's not doing anything then, huh? It didn't do nothing. I was like, what the fuck, Louie? How you feeling now? Um, I'm feeling full because that curry, it was really good. God damn. I swear to God, you need to make some of that shit. Yeah, what's in it? Curry spaghetti. Well, what, just curry curry powder and water and spaghetti noodles or what? Sure, just do that, do that. What did you do? It doesn't matter, you know, all you need is that flavor. How do you get the flavor? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, snort it up your nose. Yeah, snort curry for flavor. Yep. 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 Uh, I think usually for flavor you want to put it in your mouth. Um. Well, I was just hypothesizing how you might get it done. Yeah. Well, after you stick it in your nose, you can snort it down into your mouth like a loogie. Yeah. Does that work? I imagine it could, but kind of like they do spaghetti. They stick it up their nose and bring it out their mouth. Uh, who's doing that? I don't know. I've seen that once or twice on YouTube or TV or something. Uh, I don't like that. I don't know. I want to smoke some pot now. That was, well, that makes you want to smoke. Dang. Yeah, all right. There's the dang. Well, we only got uh, we only got about six minutes I, left. I found it. Good oh. box. I found it. Good. Found the dang. All right. I got I'm six. about to load it up. Loading it up, motherfucker. How about you? You loading your pipe? Yeah. We got six minutes. I want to call some make some more calls, Mr. Ginsey. Thanks for talking to us today. Have you heard of the pie-eyed piper? The pied piper with the mice or something? The pie-eyed piper. That makes the mice follow him around. I'm not totally certain. Maybe you heard of the different pie-eyed piper. Yeah, I don't know about anything. I don't either. Fucking. Don't know nothing about nothing. I'll, I'll, we'll talk to you later. Nah, keep keep talk calling. To you later. Okay, bye. Hey, fuck off now, will you? All right. One last message from Mark, the guitar player. Good to me. You 
good Kentucky Fried Chicken. Finger licking good. Tastes pretty good. Yeah. Get a whole thing of chicken. Yeah. A whole bucket of chicken. Lots of potatoes and gravy. Coleslaw, corn, what have you. Something to eat, I guess. I'll talk to you later. Hello. Hey, guy. How are you? Oh, pretty good. What are you doing? Oh, really? Oh. We had a TV dinner with that uh, beef and uh, pork barbecue, yeah. Yeah, I don't eat the uh, I don't eat uh, the the what's it called? Uh, no, what's that called? What? Louder. Brownie. Yeah, I don't eat the brownie. I don't eat the brownie because it's got too much sugar in it. it makes me feel horrible. She had the same thing. She did, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I had a brownie, and then she had a brownie in hers. It's, uh, it, the brownie, uh, the brownie's not making you feel horrible? Well, the, the brownie has a lot of sugar in it, and it messes me up at night. You need to get the dark chocolate brownies. Yeah. Dark chocolate with uh, not sugar, salted chocolate or something. How's Freddy doing? Uh, he's doing good as far as I know. I haven't talked to him in uh, maybe two days. Oh. Hey. How's Rebecca? I hear Rebecca. She says hi. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, back at you. Live and love, live and love. Yeah. What are you doing right now? Just watching the news. Oh, uh, what's on the news? Two guys got murdered. Where? Seattle. Oh, why? They got shot. Who? Gangsters. Who? Gangsters? Yeah. For over drugs? They're fighting about drugs? I don't know. They, all they said was that uh, two guys were shot and they couldn't find the, the people that did it. How do you know it's gangsters? Well, that's all the gangsters ever do is shoot people. Yeah, that's a rob. What about, how do you know it wasn't just blue collar regular people? I'm pretty sure it's gangsters. That's very broad, Mark. I don't know what, what, what makes you think it's gangsters. Did they say that on the news or are you just assuming things? Well, they think it's gangsters. I think it was maybe uh, r uh, rednecks. You don't think it was rednecks? What's rednecks? Like, you don't know what rednecks are? No. Oh, well, it's hard to blame them then. They, they are uh, been out in the sun too much. You never heard of rednecks? No. What? What about Jeff Foxworthy? To all the mark tomorrow, guys. You know Jeff Foxworthy? No. He says, you might be a redneck if your one TV is stacked on top of your old broken TV. Mm. Uh, are you smarter than a fifth grader? You ever heard of that show? No. Wow. I don't know. I thought you were watching TV, Mark, all the time. You don't know a lot about the TV shows a little bit. I, I know it. Oh, you okay? 
What's on the news? What is it? What was it? What'd you say? I forgot already. Two oh. guys got shot in Seattle. in Seattle. They got shot in Seattle, and are they dead? Yep. Oh, they're both dead? Yep. Did they shoot each other? Huh? Did they shoot each other? No. Who shot them? They were thinking it was gang-related. Gang Why? I don't know. Why don't you ask them? Well, maybe they said it. I'm surprised they didn't say it on the thing. Nobody knows anything, huh? They said it on TV. <clears throat> yeah, but you didn't, they didn't say why, what evidence of gangsterism they have? I don't know. All right, well, the show's over, Mark. All righty. Keep calling and leaving those messages, okay? All righty. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, here's the credits. Thanks for watching. It's Tuesday. We're on TCG channel 22, 1130, 2 a.m. Check it out, whitechampion.com. Yeah, 360 836 Call and leave a message. Get on TV. 109 Seagate Avenue, number three. Check that out. Yeah. Fun singing is a good song. Thank you. TCTV, La Baby, Jordy Fabos, Grim Grams, Supply, Conjurum, Webster, Thurston County, Washington State, USA, thank you. And viewers, it's you, you're watching, thank you. Hell yeah, dog! Bye.